Hello and welcome to Hatha Yoga. It's Memorial Day today here in the United States. Let's begin lying down on our backs in a very brief corpse pose to start. So any way you want to lie down, if you need to bend your if there's any tension in the lower back, you could do that. Place your hands wherever you need to. Just connect more with your body and your breath. So as we celebrate Memorial Day here, it's a great time to reflect upon the freedoms that we enjoy. And whether you're in the US or not, just cultivating a sense of gratitude. As you think about all beings in the past and in the present who have directly or indirectly contributed to your experiencing freedoms. And just allowing a pause for a moment to think about what are those freedoms that you're enjoying here today. As the 35th president of the United States, John F. Kennedy said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter the words, but to live by them. So as you allow a deeper inhale to fill up your lungs, with that, can you bring in a feeling of appreciation, maybe calling to mind specific people who have contributed to your happiness and freedom. Exhaling any sound that may want to release through the mouth. Yeah, and a greater inhalation. Now lifting the arms up head as you point your toes, lengthen through both ends of your body. And opening the mouth as you exhale, round, bringing your knees into your chest. Continue to deepen your breath as you turn over to one side or rock a moment side to side, maybe rocking forward and back so that you rise to sit whenever you feel ready. Joining your palms together at your heart center, middle of your chest. Offering gratitude through this practice with one chant of Om. Take a deep breath. Um, now as you close the lips, continue to breathe into your nose, out to your nose, equal lengths in and out, while softly narrowing the back of your throat creating a gentle whispering sound in the style of Ujjayi Pranayama, victorious breathing. So let that sound be soft, balanced, and sustained. And with that, blinking your eyes open if they're closed, step your feet in front of you so that they're about hips width apart, parallel, Take one of your yoga blocks, if you have one, and hug it by the skinniest width right in between your thighs, closer to your knees. And then take your second yoga block, if you have one or, some, or a book, something similar, and extend your arms forward so that your palms are pressing against the sides of that block without gripping with your fingertips. And as you straighten your arms forward, plug your shoulder bones back and press them down. And as your sitting bones root into the floor, lift up through the center of your spine, lifting to your crown. Take a deep inhale and broaden your chest. Exhaling, begin to twist to your right, leaning back slightly, whatever range, you can extend the arms straight to the right and then inhale, come back through center, sitting a little taller. Exhale, twist to your left, 
arms extending straight. Inhale, center. And exhale to the right. So as you keep your feet steady, your sitting bones still, exhale again, twist to the left. Continue for a few more cycles of breath. Inhale, exhale right. Can you visualize the area right below your rib cage? Exhale left, your waistline being the most dominant area that you're twisting from. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Let's take two more on each side. Inhale, center. Keep the shoulders pressing down. Exhale, twist. Breathe in. Perhaps you're increasing the range of your twists as you extend the arms and lean back. Inhale, center. Last round, both sides. Exhale, twist. Breathe in. Breathe out, twist. And then come back to your center. Let's put the blocks to the sides of the top of your mat. Take your strap if you have one and step the ball of your right foot into the loop or center of the strap, extending your right leg out to your right side. Bring your left heel in front of your pelvis, bending the knee open, and then hold the strap in your left hand. So raising your left arm overhead, Wrap your left tricep forward and press your two shoulders down. Hug your front ribs in. Bring your right hand to the ground inside of your right thigh and then sit up a little taller. With an exhale, begin to side bend to your right, maybe walking your left hand down the strap closer to your right foot. Inhale where you are, press your left sitting bone deeper as you stretch the spine from your pelvis. Exhale, continue to side bend to your right. Now you might be bending the right elbow if that's feasible and placing it on the floor here, or you might not just honor the space in your neck so you're not lifting the shoulders to shorten it. Let's take two more breaths in this lateral extension of the spine, which will be quite our theme today in our physical postures, our asanas. Now draw the navel in towards your spine. Inhale, slowly rise. Let's remove the strap. Switch it over to the ball of your left foot. Turn out your left leg extended. Bend your right knee open. Bring the heel in front of your pelvis. Hold the strap in your right hand. Raise your right arm so the right tricep rotates forward. Place your left hand on the inner side of your left thigh and then sit up a little taller as you breathe in. Exhaling, start to side bend to your left, maybe walking your right hand down the strap closer to your left foot. Press your right sitting bone down, inhale, lift your spine from your pelvis. Exhale, continue to side bend. A few more breaths of that here as you're hugging your front ribs in towards your back body and releasing your shoulder blades down while opening your throat. Softening your eyes, relaxing the face. Two more breaths. Now drawing the lower belly towards your back. Inhale, slowly rise up. Remove the strap. And let's make our way into downward facing duck. Index fingers parallel, pointing forward, thumbs widely spread. Feet hips width apart as you lift your hips high. And as you're driving downward dog, take a moment to pedal out your feet or shift around any way you may need before we hold still for a few breaths. Let your neck feel completely free here as you're lifting your shoulders up and spreading your shoulder blades apart by wrapping your triceps towards the ground, similar to how we raised our arm holding the strap. Lifting your sitting bones as high as possible, can you feel the fullest length of your spine, both the front and back of your spine? Draw the navel in, and then firm the very top fronts of your thigh bones back, heels sinking towards the ground, even if they don't touch it. And now let's hold still, steady your eyes on one spot on the floor, 
Relaxing your neck, letting the head fall freely. Three more deep breaths. Ujjayi, soft whisper. On your next inhale, glide forward into plank pose. Let's pause for a few breaths. Shoulders right on top of your wrists. Bring your inner heels together so feet come together to touch and really press back with your inner heels like straight. Feel the fronts of your thighs engaged. Lift your lower belly towards your back. Spread your collarbones wide. Look forward on the ground. And now try to keep your left hip the same height as your right hip as you slowly lower onto your forearms, placing your elbows on the floor exactly underneath each shoulder. Palms face down, broaden your shoulder blades apart. Reach your sternum forward, deep breaths. Breathe in, firming the heels back, breathe out. One more breath here in forearm plank pose. And with an exhale, lower your knees, lower your pelvis into Sphinx pose, pointing your toes on the floor. Now let's try to press every toenail into your mat while lengthening your tailbone actively towards the space between your heels. Keep your forearms still, but draw your heart through your upper arms as you press the tops of your shoulders down. Another three deep breaths. And you might just want to check in with your neck and turn your head side to side, looking behind you or shaking your head no. Feel that your jaw is not rigid. Now, firming down with fingers spread, elbows rooted, tuck your toes behind you. Bring your feet together again so they touch. Take a deep inhale, press down with your forearms, press back with your heels. And as you exhale, lift the belly off the ground, come back to forearm plank pose. Cross your right forearm diagonally so your fingertips point at the upper left corner of your mat and roll onto the outside edge of your right foot, flexing both feet, stack both feet. So the entire outer edge of the right foot, left hand, reach it up towards the sky and can you lift your right hip away from the floor while stacking the left hip right on top? Take a deep inhale, sweep your left arm overhead towards the front of your room. Exhale, sweep the left arm underneath your right rib cage or your right ribs. Looking down at the ground, inhale, lift the left arm up and overhead again. Exhale, sweep the left arm underneath your right ribs, look down. One more time, inhale, lift, left arm up and overhead. Keep flexing your feet. Exhale, sweep the left arm under your right ribs. Come back to forearm plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees, lower your hips, Sphinx pose. Take a deep inhale, lion's breath. Stick out your tongue, open your mouth, make any sound. Ah. One more cooling, cleansing lion's breath. Inhale fully. This time open your eyes wide too if you didn't. Tongue out, let it go. <sighs> and let's slow the breath down in and out to your nose. Tuck your toes, bring your feet to touch. Take a deep inhale, extend your chest forward. Exhale, press back to your heels and lift the pelvis and belly, forearm plank pose. Steady your breath and cross your left forearm diagonally in front of you so your fingertips point at the upper right corner of your mat. Roll to the outside edge of your left foot, stack both feet and flex them both. Raise your right arm towards the sky and lift your left hip away from the ground. Breathe in, sweep your right arm overhead towards the front wall. Breathe out, sweep the right arm under your left ribs, look down. Two more, inhale, lift the left hip, right arm overhead. Exhale, sweep, right arm under left ribs. Last time, inhale, lift, overhead. Exhale, sweep, under left ribs. Inhale, reach. This time, come back to forearm plank. 
Breathe in, lower your knees, sink to your feet, child's pose. This time in child's pose, rest your arms outside of your shins, back towards your feet, and take three deep breaths in and out to your nose, rebalancing. One more breath. Crawling your hands forward, rise onto all fours, hands and knees. Inhale, coil your chest up into cat, excuse me, cow pose. Exhale, hollow your belly, look down into cat pose. Inhale, chest forward and up. Exhale, dome your back. Take about three more cycles of cat cow, the pace of your own breath. And on your last exhalation, rounding, tuck your toes behind you and lift your hips back to downward facing duck. Taking about three deep breaths there, steady your body and eyes. Spiral your triceps towards the floor, reach through your fingertips and draw your sitting bones up and back. With very bent knees, lift your heels and hips high. Look forward past your hands. Take a deep breath. After exhaling, hold your breath while you walk or lightly jump to the front of your mat. Forward fold. With feet apart, hips distance parallel. Bend your knees any amount so there's no strain in the back. Press your fingertips on your shins or the ground ahead. And inhale, lifting your chest, glide it through your upper arms. Exhale, fold again. From down to your feet, inhale, sweep your arms to rise all the way up to stand. Watch your palms meet overhead. Exhale, tracing your midline. Bring your hands to your heart. A moment here to pause. Remembering whom you might be dedicating a practice of gratitude. Letting this flow movement perhaps in itself be a thank you prayer or an offering of appreciation to those who've contributed to your freedom. Let's take three Surya Namaskar A's. Continuous flow. Inhale, sweep your arms high, look up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Step to your version of plank or float into Chaturanga. Exhaling to lower. Inhaling to coil your chest open, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling to lift your hips back to downward facing dog. And then pause there in stillness for three to five breaths. Can you feel freedom in your spine as you drop your head and raise your shoulder blades onto your back ribs, drawing your sitting bones back and firming your belly in? As you listen to your own pace of breath, begin to go at that pace. So when you're ready, at the end of an exhale, walk or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, rise forward halfway up. Exhale, fold in. Rooting down, inhale, rise, palms touch. Exhale, back to mountain pose. Twice more, sun salutation A. Inhale, arms overhead. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half fold, Ardha Uttanasana. Walk or float to lower as you exhale, 
through Chaturanga Randasana. Inhale Bhujangasana or Urdhva Mukhashvanasana. Exhale hips back to Adho Mukhashvanasana. Three to five breaths still. Taking your time to honor your pace of breath. Walk or float forward when you're ready and take the whole sun salutation on your own. I'll be going at my pace and I'll meet you back in downward dog. Recultivating a smooth sound at the back of your throat, warming breath through the nose. Now in downward facing dog, separate your feet wider than hips width apart, maybe as wide as the outer edges of your mat. Step your hands back, maybe another five inches or more, so that you could leave one hand on the ground or propped on a block. As you pick up your right hand and cross it to the outside of your left calf or ankle to hold. Root your right heel to the floor, send your right hip back, then spiral your chest towards your left wall and sky. Let your head drop in the spinal twist for a few breaths lifting your shoulders to free up your neck. You can even softly shake out your head here. And let's set the right hand down in front on a block or the floor, switching sides left hand to outer right calf or ankle. Left heel pressing down, left hip drawing back. Look under your right armpit towards the sky. And then relax your shoulders, drop your head. Gently ringing out across your mid spine here. Two more breaths. Then walk your hands back towards your feet. Heel toe your feet, hips width apart and parallel. Padahastasana, let's stretch the outer wrists. As you bend your knees any amount needed, flip your palms face up to slide underneath the soles of your feet. Let your toes meet the inner creases of your wrists. Inhale, press your chest through your upper arms, lengthening your neck and the rest of your spine. Exhale, hinge from your hips, drop your head. If you can, bend your elbows apart here and lift the shoulders away from your neck. Let's take that again. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen forward. Exhale, fold again. Drop the head. This time, maybe shake the head out some more as you're lifting the shoulders away from it. Last few breaths. Slip the palms out from underneath. Press down to your feet. Sweep your arms. Inhale, rise all the way up. Palms reaching overhead. Exhale, hands together at your hearts. So we're going to start a new flow. Let's set the route slowly with your feet together at the very top of your mat. Big toes touching. Re-steady your breathing that you can hear. On your inhale, bend your knees together to touch. Maybe graze the ground with your fingertips, playing with keeping your hips that low as you sit in chair for a few breaths. Reaching your arms forward and up. Relax your shoulders down. 
make sure that you could see your toes from where you're sitting here. So your shin bones are gliding back. Tailbone is sinking down. Front ribs are hugging in towards your back. Take another inhale in Utkatasana. Exhale, shift forward and fold Uttanasana. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, step to plank with your feet touching. Pause and plank, broaden the chest forward, look ahead on the ground. Spread the fingers, shoulders over wrists. Roll to the outside edge of your left foot, flex your feet. Now, if you're wanting more support to balance in side plank, step your right foot flat on the floor in front of your left foot, like a kickstand. Otherwise, feet are stacked and flexed. Raise the right arm up high. Stack your wrists and shoulders and lift your left hip away from the floor. Right hip stacks just above left hip. Spiral your right tricep to face your right wall. Inhale, sweep your right arm overhead. Exhale, sweep the right arm under your left ribs like we did earlier in the forearm side plank. Inhale, raise your right arm, open wings. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale through Chaturanga. Come all the way down, forehead to the ground. Interlace your fingers behind your lower back, point your toes. On an inhale, keep your feet on the floor and lifting your chest, reach the knuckles of your hands towards your feet. Exhale here, press the shoulder blades down your back. Keep breathing. Two more breaths and bound locus pose. Think of pressing your pubic bone into the floor, all toenails into the floor to stabilize your lower back as you open the fronts of your shoulders. One more breath in, extend your chest forward. Plant your hands alongside your floating ribs. Tuck your toes from the belly in. Exhale, press up into plank with feet together, shoulders over wrists. Inhale and plank. Exhale, roll to the outside edge of the right foot. Flex the feet. For added support, you could step the left foot on the ground right in front of your right foot. Otherwise, both feet are stacked, both feet are flexed. Raise your left arm high stacking your wrists and shoulders in one line. Make sure your shoulder blades are plugged into your upper back, not shrugging towards the ears. Inhale, sweep the left arm overhead, spiral the tricep towards left wall, lifting the right hip. Exhale, sweep your left arm under your right ribs. Inhale, re-extend left arm to the sky. Exhale, come back to plank. This time, inhale, plank. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dot. Feet hips width, parallel, breathe in. Breathe out. Downward facing, inhale, raise the right leg back. Exhale, bend the knee towards your nose, set the foot right inside of your right hand, spin the back heel down for warrior one. Keep your hips facing forward. Inhale, press through the feet to rise all the way up to stand. So warrior one, have your feet about hips distance apart so that your left outer heel can be entirely pressing the floor. You're spitting your left outer hip to face forward, bending your front knee as you straighten your back leg and drawing the right hip back Lift your frontal hip bones. Warrior one, use your right hand to hold your left wrist. As you inhale, lift to your crown. As you exhale, side bend to your right. Lateral extension of the spine. So let's take a few more breaths as we're marking this route. Inhale, arms overhead. Spiral the right arm behind your back. Reach for your left lower back, glute or hamstring. Keep bending the front knee and exhale, coil your chest up into a twisting back bend, reversing warrior one. 
here, hug in your front ribs, anchor your tailbone downward to avoid overarching the lower back. You wanna find more of that arch right under your shoulder blades. Take a deep inhale across your chest. Exhale, both hands down, step to downward facing duck. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Inhale, raise your left leg back. Exhale, round forward through plank. Step the foot inside of your left thumb. Spin your right heel down. Feet are hips width, hips are facing forward. Inhale, rise up to warrior one. So taking a moment here to ground your outer right heel, straighten your right leg, and bring the right outer hip forward while bending your left knee just over the heel and sending the left hip back. Frontal hip bones rising, tailbone descending. Then use your left hand to catch hold of your right wrist. Breathe in, lift through the center of your spine. Breathe out, side bend to your left. Let's take a few breaths on this side. Inhale, up to center. Mm, exhale, spiral the left arm behind the right side of your lower back, glute or hamstring. Sweep the right arm overhead as you coil your chest up in a bit of a twist, reversed warrior one. So here, prevent the lower back compressing. Think of drawing the tailbone down and hugging the bottom front ribs in. Arching mostly right under your shoulder blades. Take another breath. Exhale, hands to the ground, downward facing duck. Three breaths and downward duck. Next inhale, bend your knees, look past your hands. On emptied breath, walk or float, feet together at the top. From there, inhale, lift your chest, halfway rise. Exhale, fold again. Knees together, inhale, maybe graze the ground with the fingertips, chair pose. This time, exhale, rise to finish the sequence. Let's take two deep breaths, slow, steady, this will be the pace of the same sequence done in a continuous flow. On your next inhale, bend your knees back to chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, feet together, step to plank with legs straight, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, roll to outer left foot, side plank, right arm to the sky. Exhale, sweep the right arm underneath your left ribs. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, back to plank, feet together. Inhale, roll to outer right foot, side plank, left arm to the sky. Exhale, sweep the left arm under, right ribs. Inhale, raise the left arm high. Exhale, back to plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Forehead to the ground, point your toes. Interlace your fingers behind your lower back. Inhale, coil your chest up. Feet stay on the ground, down locust pose, just one breath. Press down with your hands and tuck your toes. Exhale to downward facing duck. Inhale, raise your right leg back. Exhale, round through plank. Step the foot inside of right hand, back heel down. Feet hip swift. Inhale, rise to warrior one. Catch hold of your left wrist. Exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale up to center, wrap the right arm towards left glute or hamstring. Exhale, reverse warrior one. 
Inhale, hands to the floor. Exhale, back to downward dog. Side two, inhale, raise your left leg. Exhale, round through plank, step the foot inside, left hand, right heel down. Inhale, rise to warrior one. Catch the right wrist. Exhale, side bend to your left. Inhale, up to center, left arm towards right glute or hamstring. Exhale, coil your chest up, reverse warrior one. Inhale, touch the ground with your palms. Exhale to downward dog for three breaths, holding still. Bend your knees, look forward. Bottom of the out breath, walk or float to the top. Feet touching, inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold in, prepare for chair twist. Bend your knees together, join your hands at your heart. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward, sink the hips back. Exhale, rotate your chest to the right, taking your time to explore the range of your twist, breath by breath. Maybe adding the leverage of left arm against right thigh. While keeping your hips squared, you can notice your two knees in one line. Shoulders down the back. About three more breaths. In Parita Utkatasana. So listen to this chant now that's playing. This is going to be in our closing of this practice today. So just become familiar with these Sanskrit words. I'll explain them later. Sink your hips low. Inhale, chair. Exhale, rise. Mountain pose. Pause, deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth wide, lion's breath. Close the lips. One more breath. This time, ujjayi pranayama. Bend your knees together. Inhale, chair. Join your hands at your heart. To your left, exhale. Little by little twist. Maybe using the leverage of right arm. Last three breaths. Parita Utkatasana. Unwind the arms, inhale, true center and chair. Exhale, rise all the way up. So let's grab your two blocks and please turn to face the wide width of your mat. Come to stand in the center as you open your arms. Set your feet apart, almost as wide apart as your hands, slight shorter hands. Place your blocks behind your calves. And as I mirror you, turn out your left leg from the hip 90 degrees. Turn in your right leg from the hip 45 degrees. And align your left heel to the arch of your right foot with legs straight for triangle. Open your arms wide. Take a deep breath, expand through all your limbs and up and down your spine. Then exhale, glide your hips back towards your right heel, reaching left hand forward horizontally as far as you can before lowering it to your left leg or just to the left of your leg, whether on a block or the ground. Roll your left outer hip under your body. Reach your tailbone back towards your right heel. Lengthen the top of your head forward towards the wall past your left toes. Feel your arms wide open here as you send your shoulder blades down your back. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. You may like to bring right hand to right hip. Look at the ground ahead of your left foot and plant your left hand on the block or the floor six inches forward of your left pinky toe to the left. Drag in your right foot, flex it, Lift your right leg parallel to the floor. 
Maybe raise your right arm. Maybe sweep your right arm overhead, like those lateral extensions we've been playing with. Maybe sweep your left arm overhead, paralleling the arms. A few more breaths. Drawing your left sitting bone back towards your right heel. When you're ready, gently step into warrior two, right foot to the ground, left knee bent, arms wide open. Deep inhale, and exhale to your nose. Let's take it to side two, both legs. Parallel your feet, then turn out your right leg from the hip 90 degrees. Turn in your left leg 45 degrees. Align right heel to arch of left foot, arms wide open, pause and breathe length through all your limbs and up and down your spine. Keep lengthening in all directions as you glide your hips towards your left heel. Reach your right hand past your right knee, then to your right leg or just to the right of it, block or the floor. Rotate your left sitting bone under your body and draw your tailbone back towards your left heel while reaching the top of your head forward towards the wall past your right toes. Arms wide open for a few more breaths. Trikonasana. Now let's take the shape into flight in Ardha Chandrasana. Take a look at the floor ahead of your right foot Bend your right knee and plant your right fingertips six inches ahead of your right foot to the right. Drag your left foot in, flex it as you raise the leg parallel to the floor. You might have your arms wide open. You might extend the left arm overhead, perhaps the right arm overhead. Still sending the right sitting bone back towards your left heel. Take a few last breaths. And when you're ready, slowly step the left foot back, arms open, right knee bent, warrior two. From warrior two, straighten your two legs again and parallel your feet for a wide-legged Prasarita Padottanasana. Bring your arms wide apart, breathe in, open your chest towards the sky. Breathe out, shift more weight towards the front of your heels as you bow, using your index and middle fingers to clasp your big toes. Press your thumbs into the ground. Now you could separate the feet wider apart and or bend your knees so that you feel like you have a flat back. You're not rounding the back here. You're lifting the shoulders away from your neck while completely dropping your head. Now, if you can bend your elbows apart, do that and pull into your big toes to bring your crown even closer to the floor with a balanced effort. Not overexertion, just a balanced effort and ease. Let's take a few more breaths. Unclasp your big toes and crawl your fingertips forward, rising halfway. Inhale, press your chest through your upper arms. Exhale, walk your hands back into another variation of this forward fold. Now, some of you might plant your palms flat, bending your elbows back like chaturanga, and the crown of your head is on the floor, in which you might move into a tripod headstand. Placing your knees on top of your upper arms, keeping them there, or straddling your feet off the ground flexed to come together overhead vertically, stacking ankles, hips, shoulders. So whatever inversion you're choosing, 
Let's take at least five more breaths. If your feet are off the earth, gently lower them back to the forward fold. From the forward fold, lift your, walk your hands forward, come up halfway, then bend your knees generously and place your hands on your hips. Lead with your chest and inhale to slowly rise. Hmm. Let's come on down to sit. Please find your strap just in case you may need it. Now, as we're setting up for Go Mukhasana, you may wanna sit on a folded blanket or prop. Just see how the setup goes. Extending your left leg forward as I marry you. Take your right thigh and cross it over your left thigh as much as possible. So maybe your knees stack. Either keep your left leg straight, flexing the foot. This variation of the legs is a great uh, variation to release sciatica nerve tension pain you can keep it here otherwise bend your bottom knee we'll get deeper into the outer hips and glutes feet apart now the strap is for your shoulders in case you may need support there holding the strap in your left hand raise your left arm with your right hand left tricep forward and bend the elbow behind your head left palm between the shoulder blades reach the right hand underneath grabbing the other end of the strap Walk your hands as close together as you can, maybe clasping your fingers and releasing the strap. And press down to your sitting bones. Deep breath, lift up to your spine. Open your chest, press the shoulders down, and exhale, begin to bow. Taking your time, each breath to explore the range of your forward fold. In cow face pose, or go mukhasana. One more breath here, keep your throat space open. In your next inhale, begin to lift your chest, then the rest of your spine, unwind your arms and legs, and just give them any kind of movement, like circling hands and feet, or just shaking it out. <sighs> All right, let's cross the left thigh over the right, See if you can stack your knees. Now, if you kept the bottom leg straight on the first side, let's do so here. Otherwise, bend the bottom knee, separate the feet, ground your sitting bones, take the strap in your right hand, lift your right arm high, and use your left hand to rotate your right tricep forward and bring the up behind your head, right palm between the shoulder blades. Press the shoulders down, Reach the left hand under, grab the other end of your strap. Walk your hands as close together as you can. Maybe they clasp. Now feel your throat. Can you lift your chin so it's parallel to the floor? And then lengthen through your whole spine. Breathe in. Exhale, begin to fold. Breath by breath. One more breath here. Next inhale, slowly rise. Release your arms and legs into any movement. Any free movement here. Maybe even a big sigh or fluttering your lips. And then let's set up for two rounds of bridge pose. Take your block, 
skinny width right in between your thighs. If you like, a little more core strengthening, slowly lower onto your back. Otherwise, meet us there. When your head meets the ground, arms down by your side, slide your feet back until you could almost touch your heels with your fingertips. Hugging the block, separate your feet as wide apart as your knees. Parallel your feet and press them into the earth. Press your shoulders into the earth and tilt your chin slightly back. When you're ready, inhale, lift your pelvis off the floor and stretch your tailbone towards the block. Lifting your heart, walk your upper arms closer together under your back ribs. With arms straight, you might interlace your fingers. Five to ten breaths, your count. Bridge pose, or Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. When you've lowered your spine gently on an exhale, just keep the block between your thighs. If you're going to practice bridge the same way, I'm not. otherwise you can use the block to elevate your lower back on, maybe even use two blocks and rest in restorative bridge pose. So take your last heart opener here for five to 10 breaths. Now, if you have a block right under your sacrum, you can simply lift your legs straight and transition right into a variation of shoulder stand. Otherwise, make your way into your cooling inversion, whether shoulder stand with a block or without a block, maybe going into plow pose. And then whatever cooling inversion you're in, you take about five more deep inhales into your belly and slower exhales out to your mouth. Into the belly, longer exhales out through the mouth. Take your time lowering your feet, removing the block from underneath, drawing your bent knees into your chest when your pelvis is on the ground. And 
preparing for a simple supine twist. Open your arms on the floor wide like a T. Slide your hips towards the right edge of your mat. Drop your bent knees to the left side. Turning your gaze past your right shoulder, make sure your right shoulder stays on the ground. One more breath here. When you're ready, come back through center. Scoot your hips closer to the left edge of your mat and gently twist to your right, looking over your left shoulder. Make sure the left shoulder stays on the ground. come back through center one more time hug your knees into your chest and maybe lift your head and shoulders giving your whole body a big thank you embrace and a deep inhale hold the breath in for a few seconds maybe try to sip in a little more air and with any releasing sound to your mouth let your limbs and arms splay into shavasana closing your eyes letting go of controlling your breath and allowing yourself a few minutes of stillness.
Begin to roll out your hands and feet, gently turning your head, easing into simple movements, gentle stretch, perhaps while keeping your eyes closed. Whether you choose to turn over to one side or rock forward, please find a comfortable seat for our five minutes sitting in meditation. Take a moment to adjust your posture so that it feels as though you have an open heart and a strong back. Shoulders are relaxed. Hands resting in a mudra of your choice. As you relax into your natural breath, being aware of it again. My suggestion for this meditation is to continue calling to mind the many different beings from the past and in the present who have directly or indirectly contributed to your ability to enjoy the freedoms that you enjoy today. Perhaps offering each one you can recall or group community, heartfelt gratitude. You might think about your ability to practice yoga right now. What allowed you to be free in time and physical movement to have enjoyed this practice for an hour? Who played a role? Take it down to history, even to the teachers who have taught me to be able to share yoga with you here today, contributing to your freedom to experience it. And what about the space, the physical environment in which you're practicing? Notice who played a role in your opportunity to be here now in it.
like to end this practice with a Sanskrit chant that was playing during our asana practice. And it means, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and to the freedom for all. And the words in Sanskrit are loka, samasta, sukino, bhavantu. Loka, samasta, sukino, bhavantu. Last time, loka, samasta, sukino, bhavantu. Put hands together at your heart, bowing in. Let's close with one chant of Om. Take a deep breath. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Om. Peace.